Hi everyone, welcome to Strike. Today we are going to cover Relative Strength Index, commonly known as RSI, a very useful momentum indicator. We'll dwell into what RSI is, its mechanics, and I'll be sharing a few trading strategies. So what is RSI? RSI is a momentum indicator that helps us to judge the speed of the trend and price movements. The formula of RSI is given on my screen as of now. As you can see, it measures the relative strength by dividing average gain by average loss over the X number of days. 14 is the most common period that is used for this calculation. Now, I know this formula may look a little cumbersome to you, but don't go into the formula. Will It will get easier when you see it plotted on the chart. So if I go on the chart, so on my screen on Nifty's chart, the RSI indicator is plotted as of now. And uh, as you can see, it ranges from zero to 100. The most basic interpretation of RSI is that values above 70 are considered as overbought and values below 30 are considered oversold. So we'll just try to spot a few examples. So on the current chart on Nifty, as you can see, the RSI was above 70 for a few days and it topped at 76 and when we when it crossed back below 70 this that is when the market topped out and at this lower lower end the rsi was 26.74 that is below 30 and from there on we are seeing a good bounce you can see numerous example in the past history as well where the market tops have occurred at an rsi greater than 70 and bottoms have occurred at close to rsi value of 30 or lower so this is the most basic interpretation that does not make it a rule because price confirmation is very important along with the RSI reading. So now we'll go into in depth into few ways to use RSI and how to trade with it. RSI divergences. So as with any other indicator, we can observe bullish and bearish divergences with this indicator. So I'll just show an example of both. So as you can see back in March, Nifty made a lower low but the RSI made a higher low. So the RSI did not confirm the lower low that Nifty made, which resulted into a very big move here on the back of a bullish divergence. Now the opposite of this is when price makes a higher high, but there is no higher high in the RSI. So we can see that back in September, one example is there last year. So Nifty made a higher high but the indicator made a lower high. So this is an example of a bearish divergence, which resulted into a down move in the index. So this is how you can spot divergences manually. We'll also be catering to this with the help of a scanner, which I'll just show. Now this is where the beauty of strike kicks in. You get to spot divergences automatically. So make sure you have enabled divergence scanners from manage scanner screens. So let's just enable divergence scanners for now. Yeah. So I've selected weekly time frame and I'm observing all kinds of divergences. So as you can see, the system is picking up both negative and positive divergences on its own. And I just have to go through the setup. So on this chart, which is Auro Pharma weekly, as you can see, price has made higher highs, which are not confirmed by the RSI. So these types of examples are considered as negative divergences that one can uh, look for and wait for confirmation before taking a trade. Similarly, if we go to any other time frame, let's say daily, then also we have both kinds of divergences. Let's try to spot a few. So this is a chart of coal India. So this price has been making higher highs, but as of now, the indicator has not similarly. We look for this chart, the price has gone above, but the indicator is still making a lower highs. In terms of positive divergences, this is one example that price is trading at a lower low and the RSI indicator is at a higher low. So this is very easy to spot divergences with the help of strike and you can use them to spot divergences in any of the baskets any of the uh, market cap stocks along throughout different time frames and you can spot the results for last few sessions or few weeks based on your selection the next thing that we're going to cover is the 60 40 strategy so what this means is that we'll be drawing our horizontal lines on the rsi on the levels 60 and 40 instead of the conventional 70 30 so what 
we are going to observe here is that when a stock or an index is in a strong uptrend like this it hardly goes below rsi value of 40 so mostly it tries to spend the time above rsi 50 or rsi 60 so as you can see on this chart most of the time is spent above 60 and as and when it pulls back to rsi value of 60 it's actually continuing the trend up and when again it touches 60 again it is continuing the trend up again it is pulling back to rsi 50 and again continuing the trend up it hasn't broken rsi 40 any time during this trend so the opposite of this is true in a bear market so let's try to go to a phase where it was not trending much so as you can see this type of a phase which was a more like a corrective sort of a phase now the difference you are seeing here is that rsi is not able to hold above 60 for more than a couple of candles it's going to 60 or 70 and again reversing back below 40 and it is also going convincingly below 40 so this this is what defines a corrective or a sideways kind of market but when you differentiate it and see the bullish trend here you can see it is hardly breaking the level 40 now to make your life easier we have rsi scanners in strike so where you can select your favorite basket and then you can apply your favorite filter which you want to use so in my case that i just explained the 60 40 rules so what i would like to see is which all stocks are there where the rsi is crossing above or below the level 60 or if i'm not interested in the crossover i can simply look where all rsi is consistently above level 60. so once i select above level 60 i get to see stocks where the rsi is right now holding above 60. now what's what's important here is that you should be able to see this across time frames so if i select weekly time frame now i get weekly stocks uh, stocks with weekly rsi above level 60. so if i'm seeing a stock consistently above 60 on all time frames it exhibits a lot of strength now to find stocks on day to day basis what you can do is find stocks that are crossing above or below a certain level based on your market view so let's say we are looking for stocks looking for bearish stocks so let's say rsi crossing below level 50 so now on the rsi chart if we observe a observe a stock where rsi is getting rejected close to 60 or even before 60 that is a setup which is considered as weak so let's go through all the charts so this is a chart you can see rsi is, has gone above 50 only for one day and now it's again breaking 40 and if we even see the history of this chart it has not been in a trending nature of this stock so to give you a gist about it we discussed what rsi is what's the basic interpretation and different ways to use it namely the basic overbought and oversold zones the divergences and the 60 40 strategy now there are multiple other ways which with you can use it and you know combine it with other indicators as well to improve the strike rate but what i want you to use here is the strike scanners by which you can you know scan for rsi breaking certain levels or even scan for divergences automatically so i look forward to all of you logging on to web.strike.money for the same and do let us know how the scanners help you in your analysis using the rsi indicator and also comment down if you like the video and do let us know for further indicators or topics you would like us to cover thank you